What's up guys, welcome back to Dieter Plays. We've got a couple of free emotes here for you guys. First one is the Floor Rock Freeze right here. Second one is the Frosty Flare, which sort of looks like Capoeira, like if you're Eddie Gordo from Tekken. Looks pretty cool, but the game is Tommy Play. I've got the link in the description. So you guys are getting two of those emotes here, guys. Not just one, there's two of them. So uh, when you go in the game, you wanna go to chapter two, the Bronx. So you're gonna have to highlight it and then click on travel. We're not going to Brooklyn. We're not going to chapter one. So we're gonna go to chapter two at this time um so yeah just highlight that click on travel so you can see as soon as you go in the game there's a quest right there there's like a little uh display and you just walk over towards that display where it says quest you can make yourself move a little faster there's a little dash thing down there if you've got an xbox controller like i do it's the y button which it works uh also if you're using a pc it's the r button i think if it's mobile the game might not work that well but you just want to talk to this guy uh if it's mobile i think there's a button that you can push down there so uh you can see right there it says on the upper right he gives you a task and it says that he wants you to go to the end uh, or get the giant pretzel at the end of the train tracks. So just follow the direction that I'm going here towards the train tracks. And uh, it may take a couple uh, attempts in order to get to the end there. Uh, if you fall, I recommend just kind of, you know, go back, uh, go back up and eventually you'll get it. Uh, you'd sort of do a double jump thing. But for me, like when I jump, it just automatically seems to double jump for me. It's like if I barely lightly jump, it seems to jump once, but most times it seems to just do the double jump automatically. But uh, a good strategy to sometimes to move around for some of these is to do the double jump and then dash at the end of the double jump. But the dash does make you move a little fast and there's some of these beams that are a little bit thin. So like making sure that you actually hit those beams can be a little bit tricky. Uh, there's, you know, maybe you can even kind of climb up to the top part and try to get up that way. But like right here, double jump is enough to just barely get to the end, but you might want to double jump, jump and dash, but it's a little tricky. So right here also, if you jump forward, if you end up falling down a little bit, there are some clouds down there. So it is possible that if you fall down like this, uh, you see the clouds, those are fine. Those are going to help you still make it to the end. So uh, from here, I recommend instead of trying to double jump and dash onto that thing, just get onto this beam and then just kind of walk along the edge of it because that'll hold you. And you don't have to worry about trying to jump onto that last beam. So uh, you can see once you get to the end here, there is this big pretzel. So you just want to interact with that pretzel. And you can see on the upper right, that is 33% done. So you are a third of the way done with uh, the whole task and basically halfway done with getting the first item, uh, at least the, f the first emote that you're gonna get. And that's not too hard. I recommend just restart because it's a little bit quicker, shorter of a walk, I think. If you reset, I'm not sure if it's really that much different, but you can reset if you want or you just go way back to where you were. Either way, you just gotta go back and talk to that dude because it says right there in the upper right, return to the dance floor so you have to go talk to the skeleton dude again on the dance floor just chat with him for a minute and he says nice job you can learn another one if you find the pretzel so there's another one but on the bottom right you see you've got a badge right there and by doing that you've got the first emote so the first emote you've already got that one now all we have to do is find the last pretzel to get the last emote so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here just kind of follow the, re the direction that i'm going uh i wouldn't reset because i think you're close enough to uh these stairs that you can go to the top uh so just turn around go up these stairs and then from here we're going to take a right and uh see these clouds up there so if you guys got the uh the the foam hand thing that's up there you've already been in this direction we're just not going to go up the building on the right we're going to take a left and we're going to follow where these clouds take us so uh it's definitely advised that you you know again use your double jumping and your dash abilities and then just kind of watch where i'm going here in the rest of this video and uh, we'll come back to you uh when we found the second giant pretzel
All right, so here we are, this little building with a door here on the right. Once you go in here, you can see there's the giant pretzel. You just hold down the button to interact with it, and you've got the badge there on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And now you will have both of those emotes in your inventory for free. So if you guys are new here, I would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later.